You mentioned Brody was on that tour. He's actually receiving a, an award, the Frank Gotch Award, this weekend. Uh, did you have any uh, contact with Brody? Not much. I mean, I wasn't around Frank a lot. Uh, I mean, you know, you know, the time I was around him, I mean, very, you know, very cordial guy. I mean, a hard worker, and and uh, you know, just had a handful of conversations with him. So I didn't. I didn't uh, get to, never worked with them in the ring that I recall, I don't believe. Um, but, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad he's, he's getting an award. Well, well deserved, well deserved. And you also wrestled in Puerto Rico uh, where the unfortunate incident happened with Brody, I guess, for that company prior to the incident. But you did notice uh, the craziness of fans there while you were working in Puerto Rico. Ooh, yeah, and I because I went in as a heel against Hercules Ayala, their heavyweight champion, and I was not—I just was not a fan favorite. And I did two, or three, two or three trips over there, and everyone was 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 rough. I mean, one of the outdoor stadiums, we literally had I mean, the people. We were in we were in an enclosed van. I mean, it wasn't even windows on the van other than the windshield. You know, it's an enclosed van to get us into the stadium. The, I'm talking about the heels now, and people knew, man. They knew it was in that van, and they, they, the van could barely. I mean, they barely move out of the way for the van to get by. I mean, we had security with AK-47s. I mean, it, it was to go from the the locker room to the ring. They had a cage all the way around, all the way down the walkway. So like. I mean, so people could still throw stuff, but they couldn't, they at least couldn't grab you or, or get to you. So it's cage all the way down, a cage all the way around the, the ring. Um, the kids, the kids would sell bags of rocks outside the stadium uh, to be able to pummel the, the, the heels with. And, and two, two different uh, venue, venues. I got, I was walking to the ring one night and and I, I'm like oh man I, I felt like I, you know I got got hit with something the fans were were far away uh, but yeah I'm like man and and then I look and there's blood on my on my hand and I look down and there's a spark plug on the floor so fortunately it hit me in the back of the arm cut my arm open didn't hit me in the head or something so I feel fortunate there then we were in another arena off by the coast somewhere. I remember the smaller arena. Most of the people were in the second level, and there was only a handful of people around around ringside for safety reasons. And I didn't find out till after the match. I never saw it happen. But a little boy sitting in the front row had got his knee cut open. Somebody had thrown an empty whiskey bottle, intended for me. But it hit the little boy, and so yeah, I I, I was uh, not a, a a big fan of of Puerto Rico.